How many days at work have you felt like you've been dropped on another planet? You know, who are these people? Well, that's the world of The Maze Runner, another young adult novel adapted for the big screen. Instead of a girl with archery prowess, the film features a boy with survival skills. He's the kid from TV's Teen Wolf, and he's dropped in the middle of a place called The Glade. There, boys are tempted to run through a maze and hopefully get back to their own brand of normal. Because the place is filled with boys, there's a lot of Lord of the Flies posturing and tormenting. Because producers see franchise in the premise, there's an ending that sets you up for more, but really, once you get the gist of this, you know what you're getting. Dylan O'Brien isn't the next Jennifer Lawrence, but he should please those teen girls looking for another idol. He's a likable kid, and best of all, he's not bratty like Justin Bieber. Also this week, Liam Neeson goes on another rant, this time against the folks who killed the drug kingpin's wife. In a walk among the tombstones, Neeson plays a private investigator who's hired to get the bottom of the case. He offers his standard taken looks and traffics in a seedy world that also contains Dan Stevens, a guy who played Lady Mary's dead husband on Downton Abbey. Before he gets to the bottom of the crime, Neeson has plenty of opportunity to grimace much and say very little. A walk among the tombstones is typical Neeson stuff. You're not going to get some 11th hour character change, just a lot of angst and a little gunplay. And finally, the best film of the week is This Is Where I Leave You, a family comedy with Tina Fey, Jason Bateman, and Adam Driver. Along with Corey Stoll, the man who's in nearly every film this fall, their siblings mourning the death of their father. Jane Fonda, the Jane Fonda from the workout days, plays the mother, a newly enhanced woman with plenty of secrets to share. Because they're together for a week, the four get to bring up old wounds, share new hugs, and find hidden loyalties. Driver, one of the stars of TV's Girls, gets the biggest boost from this appearance, and Faye proves she's strong enough to take on Melissa McCarthy as the screen's leading comedian. Fonda has her moments, too, and Bateman continues to solidify his reputation as a guy we all hope we aren't. This Is Where I Leave You has plenty of heart and more laughs than you thought a funeral film could hold. It may look like death at a funeral, but it's so much more. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.